Now, the Minister of Human Settlement, Water and Sanitation, Lindiwe Sesulu, has defended her decision to hire 24 Cuban engineers uh, to South Africa to deal with its, to help South Africa rather, deal with its water problems. Some opposition parties have slammed the move. The engineers have been hired to help South Africa deal with government's efforts around water delivery. They will reportedly share experience and impart technical skills to South African engineers. To discuss with joint by the spokesperson now for the Department of Water and Sanitation, Sputnik Rattau. Mr. Rattau, are the Cuban engineers here in South Africa? Yes, they, they, they did arrive last year and they, they are here. Today was their official welcoming uh, event by the minister. All right, and, and there's controversy here. So can we just talk about some of the facts? Can you confirm that this will cost taxpayers 65 million rand? Yes, it will cost 64 million rand, and uh, that has been budgeted for the financial year. Yeah. <coughs> and may I ask, um, what is the annual salary of an engineer at, at a municipality? You must remember that municipalities vary according to their, their, their size, according to their revenue base, according to uh, what the kind of grant funding that they receive. So you wouldn't have a common amount that, 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 that you, you, you may be able to find in the municipality. Um, and that is why you find that uh, engineers at a metro, for instance, would be earning differently from someone at the district municipality and even more so from a local municipality, especially those that are, you know, your poorer municipalities, your rural municipalities with very little revenue. Yeah. The, the reason I ask is because one of the claims um, is that engineers in this country aren't being paid very well if they work for municipalities, not as well as the private sector, hence some of our water issues. Now, 26 uh, people at 65 million rand, to me that works out to about 2.5 million rand per Cuban engineer. Surely we could get South African engineers of great caliber for two and a half million rand a year. That, that's, that's just my assumption. Tell me if I'm, I'm right or wrong. It, it is an incorrect assumption. You, you, you're looking at that and thinking that's money that goes direct into their pockets, but that isn't. That uh, amount of money includes everything that keeps them here from their accommodation to their transport to everything else. And they only receive not a, a salary per se, but a stipend. And remember that this is not a full-time employment. This is going to be uh, for us for the next uh, year to two years. Uh, but obviously, I think, I think, I think it, it is, it, it is impo important to point out that this is not about uh, creating a competition between our compatriots and the, 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 the Cuban engineers. Those uh, have come here for a specific reason. But if you look at our National Water and Sanitation Master Plan, it speaks to what it is that we need to do in the long term for us to be able to, to make sure that we work down the backlog that we have, but also we are able on an ongoing basis until uh, beyond 2030 that we are able to have a, a, a water and sanitation infrastructure that is up to scratch and op operating optimally. Mm -hmm. And therefore, in this instance, you must consider that we are not having such exchanges only with Cuba. It's not unique to Cuba. It is within the, the, the arrangements that we have with other foreign bodies. Remember that mm -hmm. South Africa is a global player. So in, in terms of uh, our international relations and everything else you would have, there would overarching agreement between two, your two governments and you would have the different pillars. So in this instance, water and sanitation is but one of those. Yeah. But if you look at our countries but Mr. that Rattel, we have... What justification that, 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 is there for, for bringing in Cuban engineers? Reportedly, Cuba doesn't have um, a, a much better water uh, infrastructure than we do in the first place. Over South African engineers, given unemployment, given that we have great engineering departments in universities across this country? Well, let, let's look at the, the, the fact in the first place. Yes, Cuba has been having a difficult of the blockade over decades and decades. But when you look at their, 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 their uh, water and sanitation services, it is such that you are able to see that some of their infrastructure, though old, 
have been able to operate optimally up to a very great extent. That is something that we have to understand how that happens, because you know that we have our infrastructure that is not operating optimally, especially at local level. That's the one part. But also, uh, in terms of uh, 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 skills sharing and skills development, if you were to have listened to some of the, 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 the graduate trainees who were able to interact with the previous cohort of these engineers and actually were mentored by those people to the point where they have registered professionally with the professional bodies here in the country of South Africa, then you can be able to also appreciate some of those things. But also in terms of some of the other matters, your hydraulics and so on, they do have other skills that we can be able to use. I'm going back to the point. So are you saying these skills are not in South Africa? We don't have these skills here. Just allow me. I said initially that it is not about eating them against South African competitors. It is not a competition. It is about the relations that we have and the agreements that we yeah. have and what involves. But, but Mr. Rattel, with all due respect, it is about 65 million rand that is not being spent on uh, creating jobs here in South Africa. Neither is it being spent on, I mean, we have sewage uh, gushing into the, the Vaal River. So you're talking about training, that, that's great. But don't we have a huge priority? Uh, and, and the money should be uh, going there with local skills to fix a desperate problem right now. That is part of what we are looking at. When you look at the, if you look at the entire value chain, you, it would be it would be foolhardy to separate the one from the other. And what we are saying to you, I'm going to repeat myself again. It is not a, about pitting the one people against the other. For us, it is about maintaining our relations. It is about mentoring. It is about uh, encouraging our people, especially at uh, those municipalities that are struggling where we are not able to attract and retain the necessary capacity. It is a reality. Uh, and that even when you have attracted that, 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 that uh, 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 capacity, the, the, the competition you have in terms of what we can be able to pay as, as government against what uh, uh, private sector pays, you always are bound to lose that capacity at the smaller municipality. All right, but we are paying 2.5 uh, million rand for, for each Cuban doctor, but you said that's to house them and things like that. Thank you very much. Spokesperson for the Department of Water and Sanitation, Sputnik Rattal.